Hola. March 1st, Aries. 2021. An epic year, I'm sure. Just starting in its epicness. Yeah, we'll go with epic. <laughs> so, uh, Aries, this is your uh, March, first part of March. Love and relationship reading, the heart spread here. This is uh, your inner relationship or if someone's on your mind, whoever it is you might have a question about. This is going to show you and them. Um, in terms of uh, how you're relating. So we ask in the name of light and love so it serves the greatest good. Can we get? It's helpful. Love and romance for Aries. Source. Aries, first part of March. Okay. Let's see what we got. Joker on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries, not anybody watched me at all. I love the Joker. Just always, almost always a good start. You know, just go for it. Even if you get in trouble, you end up learning something. Sagittarius philosophy right there. Uh, you know, and if it goes to uh, crap, so I'm sorry, that's that's your other. That's you. That's going to be your others. Okay, I'll explain this again. I'll get set. That's going to be your advice. And that's going to be advice for the both of you. And, um, That's going to be the outcome. I love that. Death. Take that in reverse. That's how it came out. I want to read that as reverse. It makes sense there. Actually, everything else came out up, upright. I want to really read reversals. But okay, the Joker for the overall energy for a heart spread. Aries. It's going to be your time soon, right after this period here. Do a special Aries reading um, sometime this month. Um, you know, Aries is the beginning of the year, really, for an astrologer. Um, and everything's rolling forward. I was saying to my girlfriend today, it's like, well, do you feel this? I mean, because she said, wow, we've really done a lot today. And I said, I'm not even tired. I said, you kind of feel it shifting? You know, she's like, yeah, yeah. It's shifting, and this is Aries time, you know, the Fool. I mean, the Fool is Aries to me. Um, going for it. But you're coming in as a Nine of Pentacles, so you're not in Aries without uh, resources. Um, so someone that can take care of themselves, secure, um, and financially uh, also grounded, it would seem. Uh, someone that can handle transformation looking ahead here uh, and then with the three of Pentacles so you're in this relationship and then in, in the relationship they're the Emperor and they come in as a six of swords so this is crazy clear to me okay uh, now look uh, Aries you're in nine of Pentacles here one thing it's another way to look at this you're giving them real energy like you're giving them maybe resources uh, things like this to help them uh, in their journey um, and this is how you're acting in the relationship so you obviously care about them okay um, this is strange it's like I, it almost it, it's almost like I'm, I'm wondering if this is really a romance love relationship it could be uh, Deep friendship, something going on with a, a relative or parent or child, sibling. Um, so with the Six of Swords, I mean, they're definitely, you don't go out in the middle of the night and pull your way through the swamp under the bare moonlight uh, unless you need to. Like, so you're having to get away from something that's toxic probably being usually how that rolls with the relationship stuff. But they're showing up in the relationship as the emperor. And I'm not going to necessarily read strong there. I'm going to say being like really stubborn. Um, recalcitrant. Um, Close-minded. Um, 
this could be partly a reaction to having suffered whatever they were suffering that caused them to have to flee, let's say, in the middle of the night. And maybe the way they deal with it is just like, no, no. Uh, and uh, being very um, closed and fixed. And you're trying to help, and, in, in your, and you're giving of yourself, like one third. So you're helping a lot, you know. Um, and I think you have a lot to give in, in every way, uh, emotionally, materially, intellectually, probably. And what you're giving is the Queen of Swords energy. So um, it's kind of like you're giving them advice, but you're giving them very, very good. The Queen of Swords is going to give you very good advice, very uh, balanced advice. It, it's a little bit less of an edge to it than the King of Swords, but with the same uh, intelligence, uh, uh, knowledge, uh, kingly uh, wisdom to the advice. So you like when the king of queen of swords says something, you can take it to the bank, put it that way. And now your other here, his advice or her advice or challenge is the Five of Cups. I think it is a challenge here. Whereas I think it shows you giving advice here because this is advice or challenge, how I read it. So you're coming in giving advice. I mean, you're all, this is your reading. This isn't you, just click <laughs> next, I get it. But if this is you, I mean, you're, you're really helping this person, you know? Um, but even with your help, they're now on the knees uh, with the Five of Cups, you know? So this is their challenge, that they can't get up. They're so uh, emotionally wounded right now. Um, and so the answer to that is that, you know, you have to get up and move on, you know, at some point. Um, and then with the King of Cups as the advice for the entire relationship here, whichever kind it is, it's definitely like lean on emotional uh, wisdom, emotional understanding. I know you're coming as king, uh, queen of swords. Uh, Aries, you've got the nine pentacles, three of pentacles. You're, you're being very practical. So it, the advice for the relationship is for both of you. Now for them, I believe it's going to be shifting their emotions from this uh, in defensive and uh, then victim five of cups like a victim mentality like woe is me why why me why this happened to me and um, get get up off your knees and become the king of cups where you try to really get a, a handle on your emotions and, and you can respect them and love yourself basically and say man instead of saying like why 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 and, or I or even worse I'm so stupid you start saying oh honey man to yourself like, I'm, I'm sorry you got hammered again I'm sorry you're hurt you know I love you. You can say that to yourself. And that's King of Cups. So you get that energy for the good of this relationship too. And then with Death in Reverse, um, it's two ways. I, I just feel it could, it, there's different maybe scenarios, but something like this, and then in their effort to get up off their knees and, and try, get a hold of their emotions and aspire towards this king of cups energy which would be for the good of the relationship and the fact that they don't do this i mean i don't think there can be a relationship so the death is in reverse it's like it's it's undecided so <laughs> wow i mean this is a place to clarify uh but it say two ways this could be it's like a done deal like uh and maybe you know this like it's already over uh or it could be that uh it's averted in either way it's like there's a transformation that needs to happen and the transformation is clear it's again from the five of cups energy of victimhood to i am master of my ship and even my emotions suck they're all my emotions and you know i own it and that's how you become a king of cups so that transformation's come of it it just feels like it's delayed and you know the king of pentacles are gonna um we're gonna clarify all right, uh, Aries, here you go. Um, you're going to have to be the King of Pentacles here. You're already the Nine of Pentacles, and you're talking about the Three of Pentacles, and now you're the Queen of Swords. So I think what this means, uh, with this person, Aries, 
you're going to have to really draw a hard boundary. Like, I'm going to tell you how this could feel. They could be using drugs or something, not pot, not the good drug. I mean, they could be in trouble. And, you know, you're going to have to come along. Or if it's not that, it's something else that's, I don't know, self-destructive. And they're, they're trying to get away from the feelings again and whatever they ran away from. And so that's the death in reverse. And it's just, it's just like delaying a pain. It's like emotionally tell me you're just going to grab that Band-Aid and, and yank it. Uh, so you're, in either case, you're going to have to be firm with them. And it may be firm in the way of, you know, if this is a friend relationship, it could be someone that's suicidal, I'm going to tell you, suicidal, and maybe there's issues with uh, substance abuse, and you just kind of don't know what to do. You really tried. You've actually given them part of yourself, trying to help them. Um, you're going to have to be the king of pinnacles. And that's a little hard, you know. Um, that's like being the dad, you know. That's not being the mom. That's like that's not the all baby. That's like the little bit of the drill sergeant energy coming in, and you and you do that for their greater good, you know. Um, you're um, this is why you do it, and I think you're capable of it. But yeah, you know, this is I've never really had this happen before. I kind of feel like this is not really a, a romantic type of love spread, and if big big it could be, but wow, I'm sorry. So if it is, I mean, you're sa you're saving here someone. So I want to say that never ends well, but um, that's where the King of Pentacles come in. You gotta like draw the line. Like you've given them three Pentacles of your nine. Well, you still gotta eat and make a living and survive and have a life. And so, how many more are you gonna give them? Maybe the King of Pentacles comes along and says, "No more. You you need to." Get it together, you know. I can't. I can't keep holding you up. I got a life to live. Aries, heavy reading. But let me know. Love you guys.